Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Crypt. Welcome to the video and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to properly use K-Simple. So in my previous video, I taught you guys how to install it and download it. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys specifically how to play with the record table. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to download K-Simple. Okay, if you don't know how to do that, please go on my web, please go on my previous video and check that out. Okay, the video was released around five to six days ago. So go check that video out on how to install K-Simple. It's been shown up on the top right. You can just click there to if you want. Okay. So after you have installed and downloaded Case Simple, now we're gonna proceed. So this right here, guys, is Case Simple. Okay. Now Case Simple comes in a .zip file. Okay. Which means you're gonna have to download and install WinRAR. If you don't have WinRAR yet, please download it on its own website. Okay. WinRAR has a website. Go to its official website and download it from there. Okay. After you have downloaded WinRAR, you'll be able to see that the .zip file. Just like that, with a little icon and three books. You're gonna right click on it and you're gonna click Extract to K Simple 0.3. And that's gonna create a new folder called K Simple in your desktop. Here's a folder. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this folder. Okay? As previously, as previously mentioned, all you're gonna do with K Simple here is follow the tutorial. So, you're gonna open it. Okay, it's gonna create a configuration file. And then, boom, that's it. So right now, the first time you open Case Simple and you will turn on the recoil by pressing V, which is the default key, nothing's gonna happen. And as you can see, the recoil value says zero, which means nothing's happening right now. So I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna go to the essential.ini file. So let me just zoom everything in, guys, so you guys can properly see this. So after you guys have opened Case Simple for the first time, it's gonna create an essential.ini file. You're gonna right click on it. You're gonna go edit. In this file, you're going to be able to make changes to the recoil value, to the key binds, and such. So if you want to turn on the recoil by using other keys such as X, Z, or caps lock, or whatever other key, you can simply do that right here. If you want to change the recoil values, do that right here. So right now, the recoil values is 0, 0, 0. So nothing's happening. When you turn on the recoil, nothing happens. So let's modify that a little bit. I want a recoil value of a little, like, kind of simulating the barrel in the PUBG. So I'm going to do 12. 8, 8, and 6. Okay, you can also keep on going. You can really make this very, very precise. All right, like you can really go and non stop with these values here. So, after you have done that, you're gonna simply save the file. Now, you're gonna close it and you're gonna open case simple again. When you open case simple one more time, it's gonna show you the recoil values. Okay. If you can also um, change the screen size if you want. If you have a lot of recoil values, you might as well change the screen size. Okay. I'm going to press V or X. Actually, I changed it to X. And now when I press left click, I'm just going to desktop. It goes through all those values. Okay. Every single one of those values, it goes through them. All right. There you go. So what well, here in the current value section, it says which value positional it's going through. It's not actually showing you, like, for example, when I started, see how it starts at 1, 2, 3, 4? It goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what it shows you. It's showing you which position in this recoil value list it is at right now. Okay? So now we can change the fire rate. Because the fire rate is really what makes this recoil value more precise. So let's change the fire rate a little bit and play with those values of the fire rate. So let's open it again. Go back to the essential in the file. And let's change the fire rate to 10. Let's see what happens. Open King Simple one more time. Turn on the recoil. And now, as you can see, it's switching between values more smoothly. So, for example, let me actually show you guys a good example of that right now. Ready? So, I'm going to open King Essential one more time. I'm going to put value. I'm going to put a value of 20. And I'm going to put 0, 0, 0, and then 20 again. Now, we save that file. Now, if you open King Simple one more time, as you can see, we have 20, 0, 0, 0, and 20. So now if you go through those values, it says 20, 0, 0, 20, 0, 0, 0, and just keeps on cycling through those values. Okay, but you saw how slow we did it, right? Started going like that, slow a little bit, and to 0. Okay, so now if you change the fire rate back to 100, you're going to see that it's going to go by much faster. So the fire rate pretty much determines how fast it switches between those values. So at 100, that's what it does. It goes to 20, 0, 20, 0, 20, 0, very, very fast, just like that. Okay, although there are three zeros in there, it's going so fast that you can't even notice it. If you want to make the fire rate of one, okay, and you open case simple, it's going to go very slow, so it's going to stay at 20 for some time. 
Okay, there you go. And then, see? And then stop is zero, stop is zero, stop is zero. I'm still pressing. On the top left, you can see current value is still at three. And now it's going to get to four, which is not zero. And there you go. Okay, so that's how fire rate works. It's really, really useful in games that have a lot of recoil. Okay, so for example, let's say I want to simulate a AKM recoil. So I'll do nine. A, a because every single gun starts with a very strong recoil bump right as soon as you start shooting the recoil goes up a lot and then it starts smoothing out it starts it gets constant afterwards so like you can do like for example 4 km you can do 11 and then you can do like 8 8 7 8 8 9 and then it's going to go back to 11 again right and those values if you put a fire rate of around um, 15 you'll be very smooth you pretty much simulate the entire AKM recoil right there all right, so let's try it. Look at that. Very, very smooth. Very smooth, okay? This is very good and it truly simulates AKM or any other recoil you want to use, okay? So, case simple and I lose it. Are two applications that you can definitely use in PUBG and those two applications are really good at simulating values, okay? I lose it has the same thing. The only difference that I lose it actually allows you to create more recoil values for different guns. While case simple, you are limited to only one. So if you want to buy a Lucidity, go to my website and then go to the store and then you can buy it there. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. My website, click on the store, go to the one-time payment store or you can become a VIP. If you become a VIP, you can simply um, subscribe $5 every single month and you're going to receive access to every single application I have. To see the applications that I have, you click here on shop and everything I see you're going to receive access to. For free, for, not for five dollars every single month, or you can come over here to the store again, click on one time payment shop where we were just now, and here you're able to see every single application. You can purchase each one of them individually. Okay, so the new one is Illusive 0.7, it just came out. Okay, Illusive 0.5.2 is in a discount, and then we also have Lua's and the Call of Duty script. All right, anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video, appreciate it, and have a nice day.